pay off. Line high five here. The busted knuckle. Uh, yeah, we're in the inland northwest still. Uh, you know, it happens. Can't win them all. Anyways, hey, I thought I'd give you an update. This is actually my third try at giving you an update. The first update on the new Goldwing. Um, I know y'all didn't really get much of a chance to see it last time, and a lot of you, a lot of you, and by a lot of you, I mean like two, are asking if I'm going to actually get this thing running it on the road, or if I'm just going to tinker with it and screw with it and have it sit here as a hunk of junk, like everything else in the garage. So, first of all, let me tell you, the plan is to get this thing on the road and ride it, and actually get it out on the road here pretty quick. Um... You know, this, this bike is a, uh, a Craigslist special. Um, and I'm trying to keep the budget under 500 bucks on it. I don't know how I'm going to do that, but right now I'm at 310 bucks, and that includes, uh, that includes, you know, PB Blaster and Carb Cleaner and I don't know. What else did I get? Oh, I just spent 7 bucks on some, on some fuel line, so fuel hoses, so... Uh, you know, I'm probably about about 350 bucks into this thing. Um, I almost spent 280 on it, so pretty sweet Craigslist special. Uh, yay, America! Craigslist it does body good. Yeah, whatever. I don't know. I'm like delirious because I've been out here working on this thing for a while. Anyways, here let me show you. Um, so cool. It's got a back wheel and a muffler, and hey, crap! Where'd the headers go? There's the headers with the front part of the muffler still attached. Um, you'll notice it's missing carburetors, which go right about there. I'm using my camera for this so I can flip it around and aim and everything. A lot easier. So I can waste a lot more of your time because the camera's easier to use. Anyways, uh, so there's no carburetors on there. Um, in order to get those carburetors off, they're sitting right here. See, carburetors. Nasty. Yucky. In order to get those things off, you got to remove the front motor mounts of this motorcycle. And the radiator. And the radiator, radiator, radiator fan. And the header. Because you got to pull the crash bar. You know, in, in, to get everything out so you can actually get the carburetors out. The irony of this motorcycle is, uh, I mean, these, these carburetors are nasty. Look at these. I mean, just, you can, like, they're just disgusting, and they don't, I mean, I can hardly even, like, crank them open. And you sit there and watch them close. Real nice and slow. The irony is, uh, I actually got another set of carburetors for this thing. Right there. I watch these things. These things move and snap and all that. So while it was a pain in the rear end, I'll use that word. Keep it PG here. Keep it family friendly. Um, while it was a pain to pull those carburetors out, I don't have to rebuild them because I got another set that I just rebuilt. So those carburetors are going in there. And you can see there's a starter, you know, it's like right there. That starter was froze up. The stud that holds the positive battery terminal, you know, to like start the motorcycle was broke off in there. It just completely twisted off. I don't know if I did that or if the previous owner did that, but either way it was broke off. So I had to pull the whole damn thing apart. Get in there, clean it up, resolder that stud back on, and put it back together. And it works now. So we'll see. As soon as I get these carburetors back on and the radiator back on and all that happy crap, I will uh, see how it works. I, I don't know how it's going to work, um, but that's when I'm going to actually start it up. I, I might start it up without uh, without the radiator on it, just because. Only gonna run it for like three minutes. Really? How bad can that be? Plus, it's a three hundred dollar motorcycle. So if I blow it up, oops. 
you know, it's all good. Anyways, um, that's five minutes of your time I've wasted now. Five, two, one, two, three, four, five. Five minutes of your time I've wasted now, so uh, I'm going to let you go. But thanks for watching. This is the bike. Um, let's see. Uh, oh, yeah, Yoshi. Uh, Yoshi the Shiba, I think, is his name. He's uh, been riding around out here, driving around out here. He's got a big old camera on top of his truck, and uh, I give him a hard time because he says he's coming to Spokane, but he kind of stops just a little short of, of actually, you know, up here in the ghetto where I'm living. So, um, yeah, if, if you see me around, uh, you know, let's go ride or drive or whatever. Um, or come out here and drink beer or uh, Mountain Dew, as the case may be. Um, and let's bullshit about motorcycles. So, anyways, hey, thanks for watching. Take, take it easy. Bye.